You are there, ladies and gents. How is it going? I have had these Enduristan Blizzard saddlebags for just about a year now, and I thought I'd uh, give you a run through on some of my thoughts on them and uh, to show you exactly how to mount them to at least the Aprilia Touareg 660 and uh, the process should be pretty much the identical for whatever bike you've got. So these bags I am absolutely in love with. I find them really, really handy, um, whether it be going camping um, or like I've done today or this this period, um, scooting off halfway up the country to go and visit a mate for a couple of days. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they're cracking little bags. Not perfect, but they are cracking. Right, first of all, I will show you how to fit them to the motorcycle, and then I'll talk you through um, the bits I like and dislike. Or not dislike, that's harsh, but the bits I like and the bits that I think they could potentially improve on if they were to make a, uh, an update to the bag. Right, let's crack on and get these fitted to the bike. Keep that bike from a side down. As you can see, I've already loosely thrown them over the bike and they are packed. Um, they're not packed fully. Uh, I need to get these jeans and these trainers into the, uh, the bags before they'll be fully packed um, so that I can head home in an hour or so. Uh, but yeah, so you can roll these down. Well, I haven't actually rolled them down fully tight, um, but I could roll them down a little bit lot tighter, which would uh, compact everything a little bit more. Um, so they're quite versatile. You can fit a lot or a little into these and I think the L, the large size, is a good size for uh, a weekend away sort of thing. I do tend to use extra luggage as well um, but we're not interested in that today. So like I said I've loosely thrown these over the bike, they are already adjusted to the size I need for the Aprilia Touareg um, but these are fully adjustable for width which allows you to, uh, to get it nice and tight up against the uh, saddle there um, so it doesn't flap around at the top. Um, and also you've got these bits down here which we tighten up onto the bike which hold it onto the bike and uh, we've also got this strap here at the back which we use for uh, again securing it to the motorcycle. Now the Endurist and Blizzard L and uh, they do various other sizes, they do a small, a medium and a large, do come uh, with two different options for the back here. I've selected this one which is just a strap but they also come with a, a hook so if you've got like an enduro bike you can hook it underneath the plastic on the tailpiece um, but that doesn't work on the Aprilia so I've chosen to go with this. I've also got the Aprilia rack fitted which makes my life easier but there are ways and means of doing this without the rack um, but the Aprilia doesn't come with a huge amount at the rear end as stock so having a rack here does make life a bit easier. Right first of all we need to secure it to the bike at the, the top um, so we're going to use this strap here and I just feed it through here uh, like this so that sort of brings that back as far as we can Hello. and then on this side we do the same and then feed that into this strap here this buckle here there we go. And then pull that tight. You've got these little elastic um, strap holders um, that kind of get in the way a little bit, but that's just because I'm cat handed. And I like to pull that as tight as I can so that this doesn't have much room for movement. Sorry if I'm breathing a bit heavily, the microphone is very close to my mouth because I'm using my motor vlogging setup so I can get the camera pointing in the right direction um, and have a microphone without having to use hands. Right, so that's that bit done there and that keeps that nice and tidy and stops the bags moving forwards um, when we tie it on lower down here. Right, next up is to attach it to the bike down here. So we've got another strap here and then we've got this sort of belt buckly type thing um, which we want to uh, use to put it nice and tight. Now I've removed my foot pegs from the bike. Uh, I didn't find them particularly awesome on this bike anyway um, and I don't plan on taking passengers. Um, but you can use them or you can do what I do here which is just feed it through the frame pulling it nice and tight. Um, doing it this way will put it slightly down or what you can do is do it this way which 
will hold it up a bit tighter and that's what I prefer because we want to keep it away from the exhaust pipe there as you can see I've got the Enduristan heat shield which works quite well but with these bags you don't hugely need it you don't hugely need it um, but yeah it's always worth protecting your investments isn't it this then goes up through here and pull to tight and then what I tend to do is just feed it up here to tuck it out the way like that and then do the same on the other side like so and that is um, all that bit tied it away then all you need to do is just tuck these away so to do that I just do this and throw it half under there like that and then like this and throw it half under there like that and then back obviously you're going to notice that if you sit on it but I'm sitting on here generally and I only move my weight backwards on the road just to give my bum a little bit of a change of scenery. Now these wobble a little bit like that um, but they're not going to go underneath the wheel and the bike protects it from, from being sucked in under there. And the same on this side, they'll flap up and down like that a little bit but they won't go in. Um, tuck that out of the way, I'll talk about these in a second. There we go. As you can see there's plenty of clearance for the exhaust pipe there um, but again it's worth having the uh, heat shield on there and injurist and uh, awesomely have one that you can put on your bike. I've actually got one of these to fit onto my beta in case I decide to take that away for a weekend trip or something like that. Um, so yeah yeah it's quite quite good and, and these do fit nicely on the beta um, but obviously uh, I can't show you that here because I'm over at a friend's house in the middle of the country and I don't have my beater up here. Um, <laughs> uh, but yes, they're solid. They've got nice uh, carry handles for when they're off the bike. Um, I think the Blizzard L is a nice size. Uh, like I said, they do a small, a medium, the large, and I think they do an XL. I don't know if they do a larger one than that. Um, but yeah, the Blizzard L is pretty much the perfect size for me to... Um, uh, have a weekend away or a couple of days away on the bike um, and I tend to put an extra bag on the rack um, with my tent and sleeping bag in it if I'm doing it with camping stuff um, but yeah this is just perfect for uh, for just a, a couple of days away on the bike when you've got a bed to sleep in at the final destination like I say I'm incredibly happy with these bags uh, there's no flaws with them I've not had any issues in uh, uh, quality wetness or anything like that they are 100% waterproof that I found so far in the uh, time I've had them the year I, I've had them uh, yeah it's not quite a year yet and uh, yeah they've been brilliant brilliant a uh, couple of things I dislike uh, it's not a hate or anything like that or not anything that's wrong with them um, but I'd quite like it if there was a sort of quick clip way of mounting them to the bike down here so like just a, a push clip like you get on a other other types of bike um, so you can quickly take it off but actually it's no hardship to just pull that down and feed it back out through and it does mean that you can uh, put it onto other bikes without having anything mounted to the bike that you need to take off uh, as a permanent fixture so it's it's not a hate it's not a dislike it would just be a bit more convenient for getting them on and off the bike and I think if you were only putting them on one motorcycle then it would be nice to have it's something you could possibly modify yourself by just getting some strapping with clips on it and uh, find a way to do that um, so that's it that's that's the only thing I dislike about the bike is that you can't do a sort of quick uh, release type thing it would be nice if there was a, a quick release on this as well um, so you didn't have to sort of faff around there uh, but it, it, it's not the end of the world you saw how easy it was to attach it and it's the same to detach it so it doesn't take long to do it it would just be a little bit more convenient if it was clipped so on the bags you um, put a couple of rolls on them or three rolls on them ideally to keep them waterproof clip them down here and clip them down at the back here and then you've got these straps here which aren't tight because I've got more stuff to put in them which uh, sort of hold it all down nice and non-flappy and uh, yeah 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 um, it, it, I'm really pleased with it and if I'm at a service station and there's something stupid dog <laughs> um, if I'm at a service station and I, I want to get stuff out of the bags which I often do I keep my GoPro batteries or um, phone charging stuff and things in them I can easily just uh, unclip these unclip there unclip there roll it out and get out what I need um, and yeah I've had no issues with water ingress with these at all who's a silly hound you are you are you silly hound yes you are <laughs>
Right, so um, I'll show you on this side because this is the side I utilise. I haven't used the other side because you've got the exhaust in the way. But you've got these straps underneath here. Now you can use these to sort of pull it in a bit tighter when you haven't got a huge load in the bags, um, which is nice. But you can also um, use these to attach extra things to the bags. And I think in Duristan do um, like bottles holders and stuff like that that you can put on here but what I do is I extend these out and I put my camping chair under there and that holds that quite nicely and it doesn't flap in under the tyre so it's not going to get sucked in there um, but it just an extra place to keep things low and uh, yeah I, I, I like that ability to carry a little bit extra with these and to not have them up high adding extra weight in the wrong places. Right that's it a nice simple short and sweet uh, video showcasing the Endurostan Blizzard L saddlebags on the Aprilia Touareg 660. I really rate them. Um, there are other bags which are similar, uh, but I haven't got any experience with them. I use Endurostan on this and also on my beta. I've got a, a, a tall roll tail pack, which I love, and that's taken a massive beating that has, and it's still 100% waterproof, just dirty, very dirty. As you can see, I do trail ride this motorcycle, so it does get quite a hard time, and... Uh, yeah, I absolutely love this bike. If you're thinking about the Aprilia Touareg 660, I definitely suggest you try and get a demo ride on one. I have changed my tyres, although these ones are knackered. I'm getting some new ones fitted um, later on in the week. Uh, but yeah, cracking bike, cracking bike, both on and off-road. Right, all you travel bugs, all you motorcycle adventurers, hope you found this interesting, informative and useful and all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah... If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up and uh, yeah, drop down a comment if you use these or if you've got something similar. Um, let me know what it is you're doing with your bikes. I will put links down below to the Endura stand bags, um, but I don't have any um, kickback on that. Um, it's just showing you where you can get them in the UK. Um, if you're international, then you'll have to get them somewhere else. But yeah, yeah, if you're in the UK, I'll put a link down. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can put the uh, international link there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try and do that for you. Anyway, right, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that bike from a side. Luna is a loony, Luna, 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 Luna